So you were in an I Hate Rachel Club? Yes, he was. No, no. So who else was in this club? Uh, actually, the, there was also that exchange student from Thailand, but I, I don't think he, he knew what it was. So, Ross, we went out for two years, and you never told me you were in an I Hate Rachel Club. You went out with her? We had a pact. <laughs> That was in high school. It's not like it was binding forever. Then why did it have the word eternity in it? Okay, Monica, did you know about this? I swear I didn't. Hey, is that why you guys used to go up to your bedroom and lock the door? Yeah. Hmm, a little relieved, I gotta say. <laughs> Look, Rich, I I'm sorry, okay? I, I was a stupid kid, okay? The only reason I joined... Co-founded. Co-founded. <laughs> co-founded the club was that I, I was insanely in love with you. Obviously, I didn't handle it very well, but if you think about it, the I Hate Rachel Club was really the I Love Rachel Club. Uh, except that it was really the I Hate Rachel Club. <laughs> okay, so what, you guys would just, like, get together and, like, just say mean things about me? Oh, we did a little more than that. No, 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 no. <laughs> what, what, what else did you do? We started a rumor. What rumor? Come on, Will, just take off your shirt and tell us. <laughs> Ross? Uh, it was no big deal. Uh, we, we <clears throat> said that the, the rumor was that um, you had both male and female reproductive parts. <laughs> what? That's right. We said your parents flipped a coin, decided to raise you as a girl, but you still had a hint of a penis. You started that? What? You heard that? Everyone at our school heard it. Everybody at my school heard it. You were the hermaphrodite cheerleader from Long Island? Oh, no! <laughs> oh, my God, this is all making so much sense to me now. This is why Adam Carter wouldn't go out with me. This is why Billy Tratt would just stay in this region. Actually, Billy Tratt is gay now, so, so that one's not really our fault. <laughs> Monica, how come you never told me this? I thought it might be true. And I was afraid that you were going to cry and then show it to me. <laughs> OK, OK, listen to what Sean McMahon wrote in my yearbook, senior year. Dear Rach, you're such a great person. Not girl, person. Rach, I think you're reading a little too much into it. Dear Rach, you're a great person. Sorry about your teeny weeny. <laughs> Like, what do you want me to do? You want me to call everyone in the entire school and tell them it wasn't true? Yes. Could you also tell them I'm skinny now? Oh, me too. Now, look, look, I'm not calling anybody, OK? It was like a million years ago. I don't care how long ago it was. You told people that I was half and half. You know what? I'm back in the club. Yeah! I want to join! What, baby? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. All right, you know, fine. You guys are gonna have your stupid little club, but I would just like to say that what you did to me is way worse than what I did to you. You gave me a teeny weeny. Damn, yeah. <laughs> hey, guys, this stuff is just so way in the past. You, you've been through so much since then. And right now, you've got so much more important stuff going on in your lives. Can, can't you just let this go? She's right. Yeah, I mean, we are having a baby together. Hold on. <laughs> you got her pregnant? Yeah. Are you getting married? No. So you knocked her up, but you're not going to marry her. Dude. <laughs> Anybody? OK. how I imagined it would be. <laughs>